Hello folks, we have uh, some great Town Hall 11 war bases for you today, some good stuff. Check out this base, very difficult base. Now I really like this, if you really think about it and break it down, it's hard. Why? Well even if you do the standard queen walk on one side and then say king and the bowlers and golem on the other side to create the funnel into the core, it is very difficult. Notice, obviously, the ring base um, that's spread out. So even if you do happen to do that, the king on one side or the queen on the other will, you know, kind of distract the bowlers um, even away and not really getting that funnel in. So the beginning of this attack, using the queen walk and... You know, at this point, if uh, if you were going to use the bowlers, he's using bowlers and some miners as well. So already at the beginning, he has to drop a rage with the new archer tower upgraded. It is so hard to take down this base. And look, the air mine took out a healer and already is at a disadvantage. Now I would have broke it, brought in wall breakers right now for the queen to go into the core and kind of create the funnel. But he did not choose to do that. But if he even did do that, the queen would have been alone. He would have used at least another rage on the queen. So very difficult already uh, at that. So bringing in the bowlers here on the other side, kind of a bowler minor attack, boner attack, whatever. But uh, I think it would have maybe been better just straight minors uh, at that. If you would have done straight minors, obviously you would have done the same sort of thing. Bowlers on one side in the clan castle with the king and golem, and then the queen on the other to take care of that. But you wouldn't have had many minors left. So very difficult base. And if you noticed, he did have a single target Inferno Tower in the center of the base. That meant his queen dropped immediately. Uh, if she had survived, uh, you know, I think it would have, obviously she would have taken down some of those Teslas as well, but look at what's in the core. Four Teslas, two Inferno Towers, and all those skeleton traps as well. So even if you had miners in there, and he did have miners, they were distracted by those skeleton traps. I actually, I think would have put, I'm gonna, if on these ring bases, putting two single target infernos actually does a pretty good job. I might have even put the uh, town hall towards the outside. I mean, he that's really an anti uh, two star base, you know, those type of ring bases at that. So we have another Town Hall 11 attack for you. Now this is a different type of base using La Loon. Now this is very rare at the Town Hall 11 level. You don't see it often at all. So he's going to go La Loon. Obviously the first portion of the attack is trying to get down this Eagle Artillery and that's probably about all he's gonna be able to get. The, oh, the only other way he would've gotten more in, was to bring uh, uh, bowlers and either in the clan castle or just bowlers uh, five bowlers with him because the king and the queen and one golem is not going to be enough to take down uh, that eagle artillery I also would have come in on the queen side but if you came in on the queen side notice you have to contest with three heroes so uh, very difficult at that as well so again you need to take down the queen in these attacks I think paramount over even the Ar eagle artillery but a great deep defensive base because it separates the queen from the eagle artillery. And that's important because, look, this air portion of the raid, you know, things went well at first, uh, not so well. The ground portion didn't do enough. So what that means is this air portion is really at an, uh, at an imbalance because it didn't take down the queen, nor did it take down the eagle artillery. So already you know this is not going to be a three-star raid. If you pulled it off, it would have been just perfect AI, perfect placement, and really a miracle because you didn't get the queen down. So very difficult base to do this La Luna attack. I'm not sure La Luna was the best strategy here. Bullers could have done well, but even on this base, it's deceptive. It doesn't look like an anti-bowler base, but if you don't clear those side compartments, as you can tell, the bowlers will get sidetracked and they can wander off a bit. But I still would have chosen bowlers, I think, over La Luna on this portion. But I had to bring it because air attacks are so rare these days. So look, very tough bases. All these bases have been proven. Obviously, you can three-star. Every base can be three-starred if you try it enough. But fresh attacks and war bases, it's very difficult. Here is another uh, war base. Now, this was just a poor attack. He should have three-starred this, but poorly done. He didn't, it, it's, he's using the bullers and miner strategy, but he came in on the wrong location. When you do the bullers and miner strategy, you have to take out 
an inferno tower and he was not able to do so and he i would have come in from the king side because miners struggle with the king more because he has more hit points so coming on the king side where that inferno tower is it would have taken down the inferno tower and the clan castle at that and then bring in the miners uh on say the the north there where those bullers actually ended up that's what i would would have brought in the miners because the the bullers would have passed south towards that eagle artillery and then the miners north and it would have actually perfect you know worked out well and he almost got the three star even with the mistake of not even taking out uh an inferno tower with one portion he did take out the other inferno tower but it took him too long and he lost too many troops along the way so just those little things add up to not getting that three star uh not the you know the different types of ring bases i'm t showing you here these are all type of ring bases again what i would have done Let's see, on this attack, uh, again, would have used coming with the bowlers towards that west inferno tower and then the miners towards that e, uh, the warden, the grand warden. And I would have used minions to kind of clear those outside uh, collectors up there. Or you could use um, a baby dragon because if you notice, there's no archer towers there, not enough, or the air defenses. So uh, drop the jump either on the corner there or where that archer tower is, um, the max archer tower and those gold storages. You could have done it on either place there and the funnel would have been created, the inferno tower would have gone down immediately and the three star would have happened. So those little things make and break the attack for this three star attack. So you just gotta see a base and be able to spot it out. This is why asking your clan mates, guys, I encourage you to ask your clan mates, how do I approach this base? How do I attack this base? Because sometimes you see things that other people uh, see differently. You might have tunnel vision. Uh, so don't trust yourself all the time. Here is an attack using bowlers. Now, uh, bowlers in this instance, I actually use what to use miners here. This is more uh, of a minor attack, I think. It's an anti-bowler base. But if you use bowlers, which are fine, you have to use heals. So it was just a poor mistake. If you're going to do bowlers on the side, you got to put two heals healers on them and then save two for the middle bowlers and the main bulk of the attack so just not a great attack not well executed anyways here's some town hall 11 bases try them out the first one is very important anyway